Let's look at a model for tying a depth in the pelvis. You see here a simulation of a small blood vessel deep in the pelvis, cunningly made from a straw and a blob of blue tack. Take your suture material in the tip of a hemostat and pass it round the blood vessel, taking great care not to exert any tension. Bring the suture material out of the pelvis, tie and snug that down using the index finger. Again, exert no tension on the vessel itself, but tie against counter-pressure from the index finger. Then, tie a further throw outside the body, snugging it down with the index finger and tightening it by counter-traction against the finger. Do a third throw for security and snug it down. Once complete, one is in a position to cut the suture. Ensure that no tension is actually placed on the vessel itself at any time. You will be provided, on your jig, with a small glass pot which has a screw in the base of it. Use the same technique as has been demonstrated to tie at depth within this pot. Take your suture and bowstring it in the end of a hemostat and place it around the hook. Withdraw out into the open and you're in a position to tie your first throw. Snug it down, taking the index finger beyond the vessel and tighten it without putting any pressure on the screw itself. Do a second throw and snug it down again, being careful not to exert any pressure on the screw. You may then want to do a third throw for security, again snugging it down, and then you can cut the suture material as appropriate.